Hi everyone. Do you see your friend? Totoro, did you pick out a book for us? Totoro did. I know what that means. Grab your comfy pillows and let's read with Totoro. Okay. Hi Totoro. Totoro, do you remember what kind of books Totoro likes to read about? Nature. Yeah, you got it. Because Totoro likes to protect nature. You ready to read, buddy? All right. I'm going to put Totoro right here. There we go. Today's book is about someone who leaves their home to move, they live in, they move to a new home in New York City. It's called Florette by Anna Walker. Whoa, look at all that nature. Totoro, do you see all this green? There's even some on the back. I'm excited. This was a great choice, kiddo, Totoro. <laughs> Okay, let's get started. <laughs> I'm so excited to read this one. When May's family moved to the city, May wanted to bring her garden with her. Her mother said she could make a new garden, but there was no room along the crowded buildings for apple trees and daffodils. Instead of winding paths and leafy hiding spots, all May found was a cranky cat. The cat is a lion. And boxes, lots and lots of boxes. May missed playing with her friends, listening to the birds, listening to the birds in the apple trees, and gathering things for her treasure jar. She longed and dreamed of chasing butterflies in the wavy grass. She drew her own butterflies. She made nature on the sidewalk. You think she used chalk? That looks like a lot of fun. But the rain washed it all away. So she set up a picnic. Look, friends, she drew trees on the boxes she had at home. She reused them. But the apple tree fell over and the daisies went missing. Whoa, look at all those boxes. That is so innovative and cool and creative. May, May was tired of those boxes. Down below, people moved like ants, winding through the streets beyond May. She spied an open space, a space with trees and swings. When May's mother was ready to go out, May, she ran downstairs and led the way on a new path. She turned the corner and walked over a bridge and between the buildings, and under the lampposts until she found a park filled with tiny stones and empty chairs. Did she find the kind of nature she was looking for? But she did find some nature. There's water and trees.
May drew a daisy in the pebbles. Daisy is a type of flower. She listened to the hum of the city and the rustle of a tiny bird, an apple tree bird. <gasps> the bird took flight and May quickly followed it only to see it disappear. There's an apple tree somewhere. Are you ready? Into a leafy forest. There's the bird. Wow. I wonder what this is. But the forest was closed. May waited and waited. But the bird did not come out. May stared at the entrance for a very long time. Then she noticed a small green sprout peeking through again. Tiny, tiny plant. A piece of the forest. May walked back around the corner she hopped, hopped, hopped over the tiny stones and passed the empty chairs. She weaved through the streets and under the lamp posts. And back bloop, 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 over the bridge. At home, May held her new treasure up to the light. On the windowsill was her jar. A small jar with enough space for a plant to grow. So she took the sprout that she found at the forest and brought, got a jar, filled it up with soil, and left it open and watered it so her sprout could grow even bigger. Look! This became May's garden. Here's the plant that we started off with in the jar. And look at all of these other plants that friends made on her sidewalk. Isn't that awesome? Just because they didn't have a garden or a backyard or a front yard, did that mean they weren't able to plant stuff? No. They found their sidewalk, her window. You can plant anything. You can plant some stuff in your windows. You can plant them. Bob has a plant inside of his tank. So cool. Or you can plant them outside of your window on your front yard or on your steps, if you have steps, or like May's neighborhood, just on the sidewalk. Yeah. <gasps> Look. The end. Totoro. That was a great story. How do you keep your plants in your home. Do you have plants outside of your house, of your apartment or home? Or do you have plants inside? Or maybe you have both. Sometimes we live in apartments or homes that we can't have plants in, but we are able to see plants outside or around us. What do you think, Totoro? Totoro would like to hear where you see plants near where you live. Are they inside your home, outside your home, or in your neighborhood? Bye everyone.